What do you know about Kemgi? I know he's uh, as tall as me. That's what I know. I know uh, he's about the same weight as me. That's all I know. Who's got the bigger punch? I think that I have. <laughs> ah, hey! What's it gonna take for you to beat him tonight? Um, I think to beat Simi, I mean, he's a great kickboxer, awesome on his feet. Uh, it's probably gonna take a little bit of a mix of everything. A little wrestling, a little stand-up. You really like to win a fight now. You wanna, you don't wanna go the distance, do you? No, I don't wanna go the distance. I wanna finish it uh, quick. What do you have to avoid in order to defeat him tonight? Um, it's gonna be weird going with Simi. He's gonna have more reach than me, so I, you know I'm gonna have to watch out for his. I mean, he loves that front kick to the liver. He likes, uh, you know, t throwing the big punches. Um, I'm just gonna have to keep my head on a swivel and get out of the way. Boss, what's the scouting report on the tall tree known as McGee? Hmm. Okay. The well, last time we saw McGee fight was against Heath Herring. And uh, you mentioned, we were talking this morning at breakfast, he, 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 he had some problems with stamina. Now, one thing sure, Heath Herring doesn't have problems with stamina, but that's okay for Gen, because he's not gonna fight him. <laughs> he's gonna fight Sam Shield, and Sam Shield also is from the same camp as Heath Herring. He will have no stamina problems. So the key to victory here for Gen McGee, I hope that he trained really, really hard and took care of that little problem, stamina problem that he had. Now, I always say to everybody, you learn the most from a loss. Like, if I get armbarred, I probably never would get armbarred again in future fights because that would be a really dumb mistake to make. And it's the same here with Gamgee. He came in and he had some stamina problems. I bet you that he hit the windmill, the treadmill, and he did everything in his power to fix his stamina problem. And what are the keys to victory for your compatriot, Sammy Schilt? Keys to victory for Sam is to stay on his feet and just punch and kick. I mean, Sam is one of the best strikers in the world. We have real good strikers this time here at the, the Pride Fighting Championships. We got three world-class strikers, you know? So he is one of the three. Uh, he should keep it on his feet and try to knock him out. Well, I think it is going to be a stand-up war like you've mentioned, and let's face it, if these two guys go down, it could end up registering on the Richter scale. These two are both very tall, and we'll just have to wait to see what happens. It's McGee against Schilt, and it's coming up. All right, boss, we await the next two combatants here at Total Elimination 2004. It's going to be another super sized affair, if you will. Yep. Semi Shell taking on Gan McGee. I don't know about this, man. This is going to be like combined uh, 600 pounds, something like that, in the ring. Um, like I said before, I really would like to see the winner of this fighting giant silver. McGee coming off a loss to fellow tournament participant and already a winner tonight, Texas Crazy Horse Heath Herring at Pride 27 Inferno. He says that his stamina is much improved, and that was something that was evident against Herring. His conditioning wasn't the greatest. Yep, you're absolutely right. And um, but like I said before, in the, in the pre interviews and everything, I know that once you make a mistake like that, next time you won't make that same mistake. So he has been working on his stamina a lot, and let's hope that he's right, because Sam Shield always is in an impeccable shape. He was a uh, seven IFC 7 heavyweight tournament champion. Also, something that you know a lot about, a Boss Rutan Invitational veteran. Of course, trains with UFC star Iceman Chuck Liddell, who will be in his corner tonight. A submission wrestler and kickboxer, he wrestled at Cal Poly. And also had a UFC heavyweight time gym, gym match with Tim Sylvia, losing that at UFC 44 undisputed. But tonight, he will try to defeat Semi Schilt. And uh, he likes to stand up, not a bad striker. And his victories have come via referee stoppages, the majority of the bus. Yeah, you know what, uh, uh, like we, we, talk, we talked about it before already in the pre-fight interviews and then... And, 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 Preliminary things he has to take the fight to the ground. There you see momentarily Three, boss high tower semi Schilt. And there another shot of this huge oh, crowd of the Saitama Super Jesus Arena.
McGee is 27, 6'10, 295 pounds. That was a good pronunciation from the referee, by the way. Let me see how he's going to do this. Shilto! Shilto! Shilt is 37-1, 286 pounds, so they do match up rather evenly, do these two behemoths. Shilt a couple of inches taller, while McGee has nine pounds on the Dutch destroyer. Shilt is a Muay Thai practitioner, kickboxer. McGee, an accomplished wrestler out of Cal Poly. So, who has the advantage standing up? One would say Schilt. When they go down, one would have to say perhaps McGee. That's absolutely right. And let's hope, boss, that they go longer than four minutes because so far tonight we've had matches that have lasted 453, 414, and 404. And right away there's a shot. It's a double leg, and he's going to get it. And he's got it right into the side mount. There's nothing there. The underhook. Sam should let him loose. By Schilt. Holding him there. As long as he doesn't waste any power here and just hold him, hook your hands. But don't waste any power because there's nothing there, you know. And Gan is going to get out. Side mount, very dangerous position. He has to go to the guard, which he's trying right now. Yeah, See? doing a good job of scrambling his shield. But uh, McGee keeping him there as well. And if he has an opportunity, will go to those knees. But now has him in a... Oh. Head scissors, and now it's going to be like a reverse. It's, oh, McGee wanting no, to go north exactly. south almost there momentarily. Back into mount full position. mount now, top position by McGee. And now just tries to smother Schilt. Just look to the side, just to look to the side, and you can breathe. That's the whole and that's what trick. Schilt is doing. The veteran heeding the advice telepathically of the greatest here in Boss Root and now he should start bucking now pound as... he should start bucking because then Gen needs to find his balance and he cannot punch it's a very important thing if somebody mounts you always explode upwards as hard as you can there's McGee's corner yelling out the instructions to pound but Schilt doing a good job now of keeping those hands at bay and he's got an iron grip you remember when he fought Fedor, you better believe it. He's just holding his hands. There's uh, some bucking attempts there by Schilt. Yeah, but it's not explosive. Not Maybe very explosive bang, at all. Bang, bang, you know, it's like uh, pushing up. It's going up. Yeah, I don't want to go into it. There's a hammer fist yeah, from the side. Yes, side hammer fist there delivered by Schilt and McGee already with some blood trickling from the nostril. Not too much going on now as Schilt just busy trying to avoid being punched from the top position. He's still at the mount looking for the knee on the belly there, perhaps, but no, now he's being brought down by Schilt. And Schilt now is just going to be content, I'm sure, to keep him. Like a going for the key lock now, looks like. Is yeah, but from a mount, you cannot do anything with the key lock. He should just start walking up and try to escape the mount. This is nothing. You get, yeah. you get to get out. And this is like laying it as a bag on the floor, and there's nothing you can do. Very close to some laying and praying going on here. Drops a hammer fist, does McGee. Sam can also, he's got a very good grip with, uh, with his right hand. He has his wrist now from uh, Gant's left wrist. If he goes with two hands on one wrist, locks um, Gant's left foot up, he can roll him to the side, to the right, because he takes away, as you say, his bridges. And he's got the grip for it, so he can do it. Again, McGee does outweigh Schilt, but only by... Nine pounds, 295 to 286. If he's making a mistake, he's going to be a side choke. Nope. No, again, is doing a good job right here. He's going to go going for the, for the, uh, the armbar. Americana attempt there by McGee. Once he has it, he needs to go to the side. And that's exactly what, what he's, he's doing trying right. to do there. Blood really starting to flow now from his nose, which, of course, is not a dangerous This is what I there. just wanted to say. You should explode Sweep to the right. Sweep attempt by Schilt, but back into the open guard now is McGee. 
So from here now, it's some good striking by Schilt from there as McGee comes back up to his vertical base. Kuta tried to put his feet on his hips and then push him away. You know, like Yuki no Kondo, uh, Yuki Kondo did. I'm sorry. Oh my god. At the time I, I uh, make the mistake. But it's because Yuki no Kondo is in my hands. with that sweeping left kick that Schilt, and if he would have made contact there, we could have had more damage done to the face of McGee. But back into that open guard. Is McGee, but now it looks like Schultz doing more damage from the bottom here, boss. Yes, it looks like it because his head is more low. Oh, he's going to go for a leg lock. Watch this. He's going heel hook. He's going to go for a heel hook. Same shoot. Push now, the feet. Like this. Oh. Have been reversed. now he's got it for the arm bar. Looking for the arm bar. Schultz. Wow. Schultz should cross his feet. He should cross his feet. If he wants to finish this, he should cross his feet right now. Salient point delivered. And it's over. It. Extends the arm. Secures the arm bar. Sammy Schultz submits Gan McGee and advances to a critical countdown. Let me guess. Four minutes? Or let's one? see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, well, boss. At five minutes and two seconds of the opening round. It's Sammy Schilt via armbar submission over Gan McGee. Wow, look at the replay. Perfect setup. Nice. Pushes his head back. The only thing that he should have done here, just to make sure, is cross his feet so that Gan McGee cannot push his upper leg off and then pop out with his head. A nice transition from the bottom by Schilt. Able to fluently move into that armbar position, boss. And we're talking about a guy seven foot one, makes it look so easy, submits Big Gad McGee, and he will move on to the great eight at Critical Countdown. And is that a happy man or what? High Tower Sammy Schilt from Holland will be a part of the second round coming up on wow. June 20th. What a fight. Uh, two big guys, so now Sam Shield, that would be great if he's going to fight Giant Silva in the next round. Can you imagine that? Would it be a very interesting matchup? Now, Boss, we saw Gan McGee early on in that round with the top position, the mount. What should he have done differently? I mean, it was some good uh, defense from the bottom by Shield, but Gan didn't really have any effective uh, ground and pound whatsoever. He should have started hammering away, first of all, because Sam was not blocking, and then he should have gone to side mount. Side mount is the position that you can do pretty much anything. You can go for a Americana, you can go for a figure four, you can go for leg locks, you can do anything, knee rights. There's a lot of things that you can do for a side mount position. But he didn't do it. He stayed on top of him and he stayed the mount. A lot of people under, uh, overestimate the mount. They say, oh, the mount position is a great position. It's not. It's an easy position to escape and there's nothing that you can pretty much do for it. And we've talked about this off the air. You are a big proponent of cross-side position or side mount, if you will, yep. instead of the mount. And so, again, maybe expound on that just a little bit more. Why do you prefer side mount instead of the full mount? The full mount is not really... Uh, a thing that you can do, like I said, you can start punching, and then when the, when the opponent is on the bottom and he starts blocking, what happens is you have to find your balance so you can't punch. It's like bull riding, you know? You can't find your punch, your, your timing. So with a side mount, a lot more weapons for someone like you and for fighters. Okay, well, we'll move on here. Total Elimination 2004, more action coming up.